E63 for Matic. Check up. I was searching for the diagnostic and the diagnosis is here. Oh boy. For the other 63. Anyhow, this is supposed to be 2014-15. Wakey wakey. 203,730 kilometers. There you go. And yes, it's 2015. Okay. Now. It's a full checkup, as far as I know, from, that's what they told me. It has a new engine, has a new transmission, the owner, he changed it, not here with us, all right? It came for checkup because it's doing something. I don't remember what, because yesterday I was with a dust over there. He informed me about something, that something's not right. He's cutting, I think, something like that. They changed the high pressure pumps. You see that somebody, yeah, most probably they put a new pumps. It's missing the plastic bracket here. It's missing the other plastic, the white one here. Is it bolted? No, it's missing also the bracket on the cylinder head. There, it's supposed to have a bracket. It's missing. Okay, it's not been installed properly. The wiring has been routed from down. That's not right. This is supposed to be routed from up. In any case, this is a drop in the ocean. Let's see what's the problem. Uh, first, one look on the car. Yesterday, the guys, they removed for me the spark plugs. They should get also compression pressure. That's what I told them to do yesterday. Okay. Uh, up, up, up. All right. New timing chain, but this, see the, the guide for the timing chain, you see how black it is and the cover, how, how much black it is. I wouldn't say that this is a new engine, but that's me. I might be wrong, but as far as I know, here, it doesn't come like that, if the engine's new. In any case, in any case. Now, since the spark plugs are out, let's see, let's have a look on the spark plugs. Has seen better days. You see also the color here? No, you don't see because the light. See, it looks like here. When they're running long time on the car, it's coming like this, the color here. The gap looks acceptable. I have to check this gap because this gap is, looks bigger than this gap and this looks smaller, obviously. Yay! Da! Okay, from this side. Okay, this is supposed to be the bank one. This force public is supposed to be the bank one and this is supposed to be the bank two. That's why it's right and left. And then if you see the, the cables on the spark plugs, this is different type. And this is different type. Somebody messed with the car, obviously. Da, Tassos, right? Okay. Let's see from map. Oil thermostat, cap, it does have a leak. Here, front, there is a small leak. You can see down there, that's wet, classic. Pay attention. This is pure magnesium, eh? this cover. I can prove it to you, there is no problem about that. It's very easy to prove that this is pure magnesium. Talking about these covers. Be careful with these covers. Okay. Minor leak also from here. It might drop some oil while they was filling it up. But maybe, might be. No, it has a leak here. It has a leak here. Here, ah, here that I'm next to it. Like the other E63. You see that there is a coolant leak from the pump. Did they replace the pump and then replace the hose down? Maybe, it might be. The coolant level is low. All right. All right, has the new coolant inside. On the intercooler here, there is a coolant. It's missing also the, the service, uh, the plug here. Okay, nice, petrol. What about inside, soap or what? Okay, it's a good thing that has a coolant inside or has a fluid inside. In any case, let's check the oil level. Wow, there you go. Let's check the oil level. Now it sits all night. Oh boy, oh boy. Take a look at the oil. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Let me find the rack to clean it. Just give me a second. Okay, clean dipstick without, without oil on it. Let's put it in place. 
fall inside, keep it there for a second. Okay. I'll go and check with the camera inside of the cylinders. They told me that it sends also the turbos. And that's not ideal. Definitely they're not the new turbos. It's acceptable what you see over there. It's not something critical. Let me see this one. Okay, similar to the passenger side. Similar to the passenger side. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, let's see the oil level now. Oh boy. Yeah, it's on minimum. It's on minimum. It's gonna raise up a couple of millimeters if it comes to the version temperature because it's completely cold right now, but again, need some oil. Then, what kind of butter is that? What kind of battery is that? It comes apart. There is no date on it. Nobody knows. Ah, here. Calcium battery? Platinum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If he knows the customer when he changes it and we don't have any complaint from any unit to say that. What the hell is that? What kind of cable is that? It's some on the battery? Yeah, it's stepping the battery on this cable. And what is this cable and where it goes? Look about this cable. And they put the battery on this cable. Okay, ah, and there is one plug over there. There is one plug. That the cable, it's been under the battery. At least I put the bracket. Nice. All right, well, take a look at it. Take a look at it. Now, that looks like it has any accident here. Here they touch the nuts for the bonnet. The fender is fine. Here there is something like a hammering. It can give you some clues to know where to look for, you know. So from this side it looks like nobody touched the nuts, or did they? It might be. The foam of the bumper reinforcement it's missing. Okay, the clips are missing. One here, half clip here. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's see back also the auxiliary pump. The auxiliary pump, the auxiliary battery. Oh boy. Yeah, it has a cover obviously. Later, 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 not later, later. It's a battery, okay, 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 okay. Let's lift it up. Yeah, one second to see the tires. Ten week of 19 and it looks straight to me, a little bit more inside here, but it looks okay. I don't see any crack on the tire. All right, brakes. Yeah, looking good, the rotor. It's okay since it has a brake, since it has a brake pads I'm talking about. Okay. <coughs> From right. Really. Okay. Twelve week of twenty-one. Nice. Nice at least has fresh tires front. Not bad. Brakes are excellent, brake rotors are excellent. 
Okay. Mm, all right, all right. Nothing wrong here. Put the cover back. <coughs> mm, there was something here. Why it's plain? Most probably it's also broken from inside. Okay. Four week of 2020. Brake pads, brake rotors. Nice, beautiful. That means it has a brakes, the car. This head looks like. Okay, it's a little bit burnt, the tank. And there are actually so many cars that are more than. 8-10 years old here in this country because of the heat, obviously. It's a good chance, let us say, to change it. So don't keep it like that, it can come apart. It's a plastic at the end of the day. All right, all right, all right. Let's lift it up. Ah, here, the, the wheel that's liner has been replaced, and there is also the sticker with a part number on it. So something happened on the driver's side. Ah, there is also one cap over there and this this cap down there it's supposed to be the cap here for that it's missing also from the other side at least it's in the car right <laughs> okay i'm gonna fix it later if i remember it maybe also the other one somewhere here I cannot see something. Maybe if we remove the battery to be under the battery. Right? It might be. I'm talking about there. There is one tray, one steel tray there, and it might be under all this. If we found it later on, we're gonna put them back in place. Alright, let's let me lift it up.